what hides purpose from us isn't going to be what we expect. How could it be? It won't be something physical because it has to be more than matter in order to manage all of matter. And it has to be with us constantly pulling down the shade on the bigger picture. We have eyes, perception, and emotion, but we don't see it. And most of all, we don't feel it. Not because it isn't there, but because there's something in our nature that we first have to be able to notice and then use in a different way. So what is something made of if it's not physical? The closest we can come to describing it is a force or an influence inside of us. Something we now greatly underestimate and misunderstand that directly distorts the accuracy of our sensations. Now just imagine how hard, uncompromising and pervasive the force holding this concealment has got to be in order to completely eclipse what's beyond it, even pulling us back in should we momentarily penetrate it, to make us forget and to have to start over and over. When do we know that we know anything? It's when we feel it inside of us. And until we do, we just don't call a thing real, do we? Now, to the seeker who's already found half an answer, start fresh. Suspend what you now think you know. Half an answer isn't really an answer at all, and you wouldn't be watching this if you'd actually found one, would you? Even if you hear something that sounds familiar, it won't be in the context you're now holding. So just erase and ask again. If you remember to do that, you can start researching and tangibly sensing that your life is set inside of something else. There is a dimension a mechanism surrounding this world that manages and evolves us from the inanimate level of existence to the degree intended as life's fulfillment. And when we become capable of directly, internally sensing what nature's goal is, it becomes felt in us as our own purpose and the source of our happiness. And all the means that nature uses to get us there the steps we go through along the way and nature's ultimate goal are the meaning of life. But our problem is that we can't imagine what that kind of ultimate fulfillment could possibly be. Because every fulfillment that we've ever known eventually disappeared. But that's only because we're on the opposite side of the wavelength of messages that the big mechanism is sending. We just don't pick up the signals. Well, actually we do, but we either disregard them or we feel them as something else. We're being evolved from the inanimate. But what does inanimate mean? Are we talking about mountains and planets? Were you once a rock, now on your way to becoming some kind of a cosmic angel? What we need to understand is that the governing forces of nature aren't made of electrons, magnetic waves, gravitational forces, bosons. They're made of intentions. Impulse acting without dependence on matter. And the highest forces are attitudes and purposes, just like the mechanisms in our emotional makeup that steer our desires. Desire is nature's animating force. Intention and attitude determine what it does, what it creates. The outcome of what we experience as life with all of its inner and outer qualities. The needs we feel are all implanted in us by nature. But the thing that's being evolved in us is our ability to steer them in the same way that nature does towards its same goal. The inanimate level simply means that we haven't yet developed the sort of intention that allows us to do that. 
In fact, inanimate intention isn't really intention at all. It can only follow desire wherever it leads. We just exist, like a rock does. We change only when massive forces of nature impact us with difficult personal problems, illness, a hurricane, a sense of pointlessness in life, an earthquake. But our own intention is not to change, just to become comfortably hardened in the exact form of intention that we're in now. And that is like riding on a train facing backwards. We need to get ahead of this process to see where life actually leads. The fundamental intention behind the mechanism of nature is to provide for the needs of all of the life forms that it develops. And our fundamental nature is opposite. It's to fill ourselves with as much pleasure as we can. Now, that seems like a good match, but it's only the starting point for our journey of life. Because the balance between those two opposite intentions can either conceal or reveal meaning. The great gift of this concealment is that it provides us not just the desire, the need to know the purpose, but in fact, it is the means to uncover it. So how do we use these two opposite intentions to unwrap the mystery? What do we need to sense in us? And why does it make such a profound difference in our perception? <laughs>